what is up you guys, WhiteXM here, and today I'm going to get back into doing these lists. This is probably going to be my last one for a while when it comes to black metal with the list, but this is the top 10 black metal bands from Finland. Yeah, Finland is another country that contains a lot of black metal, but I feel like we really don't, it doesn't have that big audience. Like I said, when it comes to black metal, Sweden and Norway really have the bigger and, and stronger audience. But I really, after really checking out a lot of these bands from Finland, it kind of you know, baffles me that you know Finland doesn't have that big of an audience. Now, all ten of these I I rarely talk about, so hopefully you guys discover uh, ten new uh, acts out of this. And um, let me just tell you, what I picked for number one is a band that I need to get into more. But I'll get to that in a sec. So anyway, starting off this list is uh, number ten, Blood Hammer. This is really an unknown band that I feel like is just in the background that no one really notices in the uh, black metal scene. And they bring forward just straight to the point evil sinister black metal that, you know, should appeal to a big, you know, a big, you know, cult audience but doesn't sadly. And I feel like, you know, hopefully, you know, some of my viewers like you guys can uh, go check them out. They're called Bloodhammer, just one word. Next, number nine is Sargust. Uh, once again, kind of straightforward black metal that, you know, they have their um, hidden gems here and there, like their debut and their sophomore release that I really enjoyed. And yet again, it's just what I said previously about, you know, Bloodhammer. They're just in the background that no one really notices, and I feel like they deserve a little bit more of an attention. Next, number eight, I hopefully I'm saying this right, this is Horna, H-O-R-N-A, all one word. Uh, yeah, like the other two, I just, this, this appeals to me a little bit more. It's really harsh, it's really what you look forward to in black metal, and I don't see any negative thing I can say about them at the moment. I mean, it's something groundbreaking for the genre, but they haven't really made anything bad, and I really did enjoy what I heard out of it, except for number seven, Baptism. They just play, they're just like Horna, but they just appeal to me a little bit more. I feel like they are uh, still have that, you know, harsh and chaotic sound, but it really just is a little bit more explosive to my point, which is what I like about it a lot. And I really kind of question myself why I don't own a CD or anything by these guys. Great band. Next, number six, another band that I kind of wonder why I have nothing by. This is Goat Moon. Really evil stuff. When you just look at the lyrics to the uh, artwork and stuff, to really just how the guitars are played, it's really diabolical and really evil, and I think that's why a lot of people enjoy them. I feel like they deserve a bigger fan base for what they are, but, you know, just a great band, great, uh, I, I believe it's a one-man project, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I really do uh, like them a lot, and, uh, yeah, that's all I can say about them. Next, number five, I only own one CD by these guys, they're called Impaled Nazarene. Uh, it's kind of like borderline blackened uh, death metal at some points, but really ha still has that little sinister and really diabolical touch to them to give them that, you know, black metal name. And what I get out of it, it's like, I feel like this would be like the, uh, how can I put it in this way? It, it's kind of like the more... It's the eviler side of Behemoth, how I look at these guys in Pale Nazarene. I know it's kind of like an odd comparison, but that's what I really get out of them with that black and death metal influence they got here and there. And I just really enjoy them a lot, and uh, yeah, I'm, I feel comfortable putting them at number five. Number four, a band I wish I could see, but it's not going to happen because, uh, yeah, I'm going to be in school and I need to do important things, but... Number four, a band that's coming to America for the first time ever in September, Satanic, Satanic, oh, I sound like an idiot there, Warmaster. Ugh, oh, this is a really impressive band. Though they have some, uh, um, 
misses, but they do have a lot more hits than misses. How I look at this band, they do a their discography isn't picture perfect, but really 80% of it is pure evil black metal. I mean, the name alone should give you an idea of what you're in for. Satanic War Master. That's just evil as fuck alone itself and their debut will be their best no hands down and even though i really find their newest release a lot in the record stores i'm really looking forward to their debut which is the best because it's just straight dirty harsh and evil black metal that everyone knows and everyone loves and uh yeah i really need to change that since i own sadly once again nothing by this band number three this just appeals to me a lot more. I feel like the, their discography is like near picture perfect, which is why they beat out Satanic War Ma Master. I'm hopefully I'm saying this right. It's a uh, B Hexen, B E H E X E N. Uh, yeah, once again, kind of like Satanic War Master, but it brings more of an, that. Uh, I feel like a more heavier side to them, which is what I love about them. And I believe they've only released three or four uh, albums as of late, but nothing is wrong about them whatsoever. And even though they kind of have a more, uh, less original side to them, which is why they're number three and number two beats them because of it, uh, yeah, they just really appeal to me. And I feel like if I'm just looking forward for a straightforward, uh, diabolical death metal, uh, black metal, I'm sorry, the action's right for you. Number two, it's their... This is, out of all of them, the most original, the most clever, and really, you can argue it shouldn't be in this, but what I've heard so far from them, I feel like they deserve to be in here. They're pretty much the Finland version of Agalok, how I look at these guys. These guys are called Moon Sorrow, all one word. Uh, they're kind of like a pagan folk black metal band and what i love about them too they don't they know how to balance their folk and pagan elements like i said previously with a lot of other bands that are uh folk metal they just drown it in all these like really cheesy instruments that make it sound like you know it's all about getting drunk and you know having a good time and going like this Moon Sorrow makes it sound more professional and mature, which is why I love them so much. And I can never find anything by them in the stores, which sucks. But man, these guys are one of a kind. Borderline sometimes progressive black metal at some points, but really it has those pagan and folk influences to you know make them you know folk black and folk metal, which is why I love them so much. And uh, yeah, number one, these guys have released an album this year and. I've really, as of lately at, at work for the past two days, I've really given this a real listen. And this is almost borderline war metal, but holy shit, why have I not picked this album up yet? This is the band Archgo. Hands down, the evilest out of all ten, hands down, but that's not why they're number one. Everything is explosive. Picture your favorite black metal band, your favorite death metal band, and your favorite thrash metal band.